What's up, YouTube? This your girl, Comedic Comedian Prophetess. And I'm back with another video. New to my channel. I am a pathetic tarot reader. I do not read cards based off the meanings. I read cards based off what Spirit tells me. The holy angels and the divine. I'm also a psychic medium. I also read I read an angel number. Okay. I don't just be calling out numbers for nothing. Blah, blah, blah. Y'all know the basics. If you're not already new to my channel. If you've been here for a while. Anyhow, y'all, I got a download. I got a channel that I need to get out, okay? But we're going to pray first, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raziel, Archangel Raphael, I ask you to send your greatest white light and please give me clear and precise messages. Clear and precise messages. Protect me and protect the collective as I deliver this message. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Okay, so the download... Okay, the download that I'm getting, you guys, um, I'm hearing that somebody's husband or somebody's boyfriend, I'm seeing a masculine. I feel like somebody could be living a double life. Um, the vision that I got is I seen a masculine, masculine driving in my third eye. I don't know why I keep getting downloads of people driving. Okay, weird. Okay, but I seen a dark skin male, so this man could be dark skin. Somebody could have dreads. Somebody could have dreads, and then they could have a taper in the front. So you know how guys got dreads, and then they taper it in the front. Somebody is living a double life. I feel like somebody could travel for work, or somebody could be lying about traveling for work. Whoever this King of Swords is in the reverse with the judgment card here, they're up under judgment for living a double life. I feel like you could be married to this person, or this could be like some type of long term boyfriend or something like that with the hierophant here somebody could be a pastor or a preacher doesn't have to be or somebody could really like be fake somebody could play like they're holier than thou but this is a king of swords somebody here somebody here could have caught an incurable std sleeping around i'm seeing somebody in my third eye yeah this emperor here so this could definitely be your husband or your baby father or something like that but somebody has most definitely been living a double life and doing a lot of spell work on you i feel like you could be married to a warlock or you could be in a committed relationship with a warlock this emperor is a magician this emperor has done some type of spell work over your mind to make you believe that they're an emperor but they're not they're a magician they're a king of swords in the reverse, a fuck nigga, a loser. They, they're not trying to fight for you. They're not trying to stand up for you. You can share children with this person. You can have a little girl between the ages of maybe, mm, I'm hearing maybe two, two to five. You can also have a son. You can have a teenage son between the ages of mm, maybe 12 to 15, maybe 17. I'm hearing I'm the man of the house. Yeah, too. wow, we got the three of wands here. Something is going to take place in the future. I'll clarify that in a minute. We'll see what that is. I'm hearing I'm the man of the house. Somebody, so you can have a son that gets into it with, the, with, your, with your baby father or your husband a lot with the lover's card in the reverse. This man don't love you. I don't think this man ever loved you. This man has a secret life, a secret family. With the Empress card in the reverse, I mean, with the Empress card in the upright, not in the reverse. But we have the Empress to the Emperor here. So this lets me know this could definitely be your husband. You are real Empress. Or you could be a Queen of Wands. I'm here. You could actually, you could be a Queen of Wands. I'm not trying to call you like low vibrational. But you could just be in a Queen of Wands energy. I feel like you can elevate to an Empress if you leave this fuck nigga alone. This King of Swords in the reverse. This is somebody that you can most definitely be married to, though. You, like I said, you see this person as your husband, your everything, your confidant. This person pillow talks a lot, too. They tell they tell a lot of fucking lies on you. Yeah, we got the Ace of Swords here. They don't speak nothing but lies. They don't speak truth at all. We got the Six of Swords here. Spirit is telling me, whoever you are, I don't think you're an Empress. I'm just going to keep it a G. I'm hearing a Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. So you, even though that didn't come out, so you could be a Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands energy. This motherfucker may actually take care of you. They may actually give you money or somebody could be half-assed paying the bills or some shit like that. Somebody could be half-assed. Somebody is giving you the bare minimum. I'm going to tell you why they're giving you the bare minimum. With the Ten of Cups and the Reverse and the Nine of Swords here, who the fuck is this for? Y'all, please put this in the comment section because I'm I'm a single woman, baby. So who is this? Because the show ain't for KMP. <laughs> no, anyways, but listen. 
with the nine of swords here and the ten of cups in the reverse, you're worried. I, I'm seeing somebody cry at night, cry themselves to sleep at night. Somebody is worried because you don't know what a fuck this so-called emperor is. They're not an emperor. I'm going to go ahead and flip that shit in the reverse. This is not an emperor. You're married to this person, though. If you're not married, you could be like uh, like common law married. You've been with this person for a long time, possibly up to 10 to 20 years. I, or, okay, this motherfucker has multiple families. Yeah, they got kids all over town, kids all over the world, kids all over the universe this person is sneaky as fuck they got secret children i'm gonna tell you that now i'm hearing the name kenneth i'm hearing the name lawrence okay i'm hearing the name sean somebody could even lie about their name or their or their phone somebody could have a, a secret a secret phone or a secret bank account as well i'm telling you somebody here with the three of swords and you're very heartbroken over this but it actually kind of came out sideways this person is lying to you they don't care about hurting you they not hurt Somebody enjoys living a double life here. Yeah, with the, uh, what is this? Yeah, I be having to read these. I got so many different tarot decks. I be having to stare at them. Hold on. Yeah, we got the six of pentacles here. Yeah, somebody been half-ass taking care of home. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody been breadcrumbing you. I feel like you can have a teenage son. Your son could be 12, 13. I feel, I'm hearing somebody say, I'm the man of the house. I feel like you can have a son that be telling you, mama, don't cry. Mama, I don't want to see you cry. Don't fuck daddy or fuck that man. Or So maybe this is something we have with the page of swords here. Somebody is watching and stalking somebody online. Okay? I'm hearing... So... I'm getting a download here. Y'all, put this in the comment section if this shit is re resonating for you. But somebody is watching and stalking somebody online. You could be watching and stalking an empress or some shit like that. Somebody then left their family. For another woman or another man. Somebody could even be gay. Your husband could be gay. So you might think your husband is cheating. I'm hearing an old school song. Cheating on the telephone. That's a blues song. Somebody, your husband is cheating on you. Or your long-term boyfriend is cheating on you, baby. And I feel like somebody is watching an empress online or something like that. This could be this man's side piece. So you could be watching somebody's social media account. I don't feel like this person has a platform. Or they could. You could be watching somebody's TikTok or you could be watching somebody's like, uh, I'm hearing TikTok and Instagram, okay, with the tower card here. I feel like, who else? I keep hearing Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. I feel like somebody wants to confront somebody. I'm hearing, I'm actually, damn, I'm hearing that song in my head. Y'all, why are y'all doing this to me? Who the fuck? <laughs> who the fuck is in my collective going some, through some shit like this cause I, I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm hearing I'm hearing woman to woman if you ever been in love that's what I'm hearing then you would know how I feel in woman to woman if you are in my shoes what is y'all going through angel number 808 on the clock what is, what is y'all going through can y'all please put this shit in the comment section i'm gonna tell you something whoever you are in my collective i'm hearing the name Brittany. i'm hearing the name sarah i'm hearing the name elizabeth i keep hearing the name chandrea or sanjaya or sonya i'm hearing courtney somebody name could be courtney We got the King of Wands in the reverse and the Temperance. Oh, this is so sad. We got the Three of Cups here. Y'all, I'm channeling. So y'all know when I pause, I be channeling. I'll clarify these three cards in a minute. But what I'm seeing is, I'm going to tell you the truth. I feel like you destined to be an Empress. You could even be an Earth Angel. Or you probably not an Earth Angel. You could just be somebody that's very balanced, very stable. I'm seeing somebody that's a good homemaker. Meaning you may cook and clean. You take care of the children. You a good mother. I feel like whoever the fuck nigga is that you married to, this motherfucker don't go to football games like they supposed to. They don't show up. This motherfucker don't, don't spend time with the kids. All they do is run the streets and get high all day and smoke weed all day and fuck hoes. That's all. And I feel like you be at home cooking and cleaning and taking care of the kids. 9.28 on the clock. Somebody could be a, a air sign here. Somebody could be a Libra with this Empress card. Somebody could be a Taurus. Somebody could be a Sagittarius. Somebody could be a Gemini here. Somebody could be a Capricorn. Or Aries. 
any goddamn sign. Somebody is sneaky as fuck. Somebody could be a Scorpio. Okay, not saying all Scorpios are sneaky, but somebody could definitely be a fucking sneaky ass Scorpio masculine here. And I'm picking up on a black male. This man, it came out in the reverse, the King of Wands, but with, with the upright, this man could definitely have dreads. And they got a lot of kids. I feel like they got kids by you, and they also got some secret babies with some third parties. Angel number 10, 10 on the clock. Now, with the Queen of Cups here, okay? I'm seeing two females here. I'm actually seeing multiple females. But with the Queen of Cups here and the Empress card here, I feel like you watching another another woman online on her Instagram or her Facebook page. I'm not really seeing like a, I don't think this person can have like a platform or maybe they do. But you watching somebody. That's a, whoever you watching is a Empress and a Queen of Cups. I don't feel like this bitch is with your man. Or she could be. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to be careful out here because some of these women out here be players too. They be having side pieces and everything going on too these days. You know what I'm saying? I don't condone that bullshit because I don't get down like that. But some of these women, man, these so-called empresses or these so-called wannabe empresses, I don't know what to call it, man. Y'all got to be careful confronting women nowadays and confronting men because a motherfucker be licensed to carry and crazy as hell and all types of shit. They'll fuck around and shoot or stab your ass. So I'm going to just tell y'all ladies something. Be careful. Be careful of confronting women. And if your man is cheating on you or whatever the fuck is going on in Karmicville over here, I'm picking up on, just walk the fuck away. Let that nigga go. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell y'all a story. I don't know who need this message. Who is this for? Put it in the comment section. I'm going to tell y'all a story. I never forget my mama, y'all. My mama crazy as hell. She, she a good person. My mama throw it off. I never forget she was dating this man. I was. I never forget this shit. I was about six years old, maybe seven, eight. I ain't going to put her personal business out there like that, but she was dating this man for a long time. He was cheating on her. You know what I'm saying? He took care of the, his responsibilities, you know? He gave her money. He did shit, but he ain't never want to settle down. He ain't never want to do shit. Man, I never forget I seen my mama, man. We were staying in this apartment complex. I was a little girl. My mama packed every goddamn shit up in the apartment. I mean, she packed. She waited till that motherfucker went out of town or went out of work. So I feel like somebody husband... Somebody husband is saying, I got to go out of town. I got to, somebody is living a double life, man. They got a whole nother family. I'm seeing it. And they got multiple phones, multiple kids, kids that you don't even know about. Them motherfuckers a dog, a straight O. And they like young girls. So you could be older than this person. I told you, Queen of Wands, that's you, boo. You this Queen of Wands right here. God is trying to get you the fuck away from this damn man. God wants to elevate you to an empress. But you keep fucking around trying to find out who this nigga laying up with. He laying up with his other family. He living a double life. He probably got a bunch of families. The hell if I know. <laughs> now you want to have a woman to woman conversation. Woman to woman. If you ever been in love. You taking care of all the responsibilities. Who are you? Put this in the comment section. Because I mean y'all. I be in my house taking a spiritual bath and shit. This is how, that's how I got that download. I have ran me some bubble bath and... I put some Epsom salt in it. I was in there soaking. And y'all, I be closing my eyes. And like sometimes when I take a bath, I have my earphones in. Or sometimes it just be peace and quiet. Or sometimes I'll play jazz or music. And I just start seeing visions and shit. So whoever your man is or whoever you are in my collective, this man don't even take care of responsibility. This man don't even take care of home. They do. They used to. But now they do the bare minimum. With the five of pentacles here in the reverse, I feel like you could. I'm, I'm hearing somebody is having to get on welfare. Somebody is having to apply for welfare and they've never had to do that. They've, they're used to being a married couple. They're used to being a couple. Now they're having to apply for welfare. Girl, whoever you is, baby, you can do bad all by, you, all by yourself. But I feel like I'm going to tell you the truth. It's more than one empress out here. Some of these hoes that this man talked to are empresses that don't pay this motherfucker no mind. So if you watching one of these females or a couple of these females on their Instagram or their Facebook or their TikTok... Some of these females don't want this nigga because this nigga is a bum, okay? Some of these females are empresses. They're too boss. But some of these females, this man got multiple women that they talk to. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you that from the jump. Where that queen of wands go, okay? Let me tell you the truth because in your mind, you delusional. You're delusional, baby. In your mind, I'm not trying to say you delusional out of disrespect. I'm trying to help you. Because I don't know who he is. In your mind, this is how you see this man. The empress to the emperor. 
But I got to put you on game. K and P got to put you on game because if I don't put you on game, that means I don't love you. I don't, that mean that mean I don't care about you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not I'm not down to you because I've been here before. We all been there. You know what I'm saying? That's why us as black queens or whatever color you are, us as women, we got to help each other and quit fighting each other. So me as a tarot reader, since I didn't picked up on your storyline, I'm finna help you. In your mind, you see this man as an emperor. You, you feel like you an empress and you feel like this man is an emperor, but you not. Now, listen, this motherfucker right here is really an emperor in the reverse. I doubt if this motherfucker ever changed. They love third parties with the three of cups here. They love hoeing around, chicken around. They love young girls. So somebody could be in they for so yo you, you and your husband could be in y'all forties or fifties. Somebody love young P U S S Y. They love young tenderonies. The truth about Roni, she's a sweet little girl. Somebody love tenderonies. That's an old saying. <laughs> y'all know I'm thrown off. Anyways. You're not an empress to the emperor. God wants to elevate you to the to the empress. You're just the queen of wands. This is listen, let me go back. This is how you see yourself with your man. The empress to the emperor. But this is what you really coming out as to the community. You need to wake up and smell the coffee cuz I feel like everybody know what's been going on. Everybody know what's been happening. This person's family could even be involved in this. So your mother-in-law, your sister-in-law, your brother-in-law, everybody know this man got another family. They all been working in cahoots. You could be married to a narcissist or in a long committed relationship with a narcissist. This is who you think you an empress or an emperor, but baby, you think you the empress to the emperor, but baby, listen, you the king of wands in the reverse with the queen of wands in the upright. Now, if you was low vibrational, then you would probably be the king of wands in the reverse. It'd be the, the king of wands in the reverse to the queen of wands in the reverse. But you're not low vibrational. God is telling me you a good homemaker. You cook, you clean, you take care of the kid. I feel like you got a, a teenage son or something. I'm, I'm hearing somebody say, I'm going to be the man of the house, mama. Somebody, your son feel like they got to step up. This motherfucker is a loser. I feel like somebody don't even come to football games, basketball games, football practice. Now, this is a bitch made ass loser that you need to cut the fuck off. You can do bad all by your goddamn self. Now, with this Queen of Wands here, the only reason why you're in a Queen of Wands energy, because I'm pretty sure if you looking and watching and trying to find this motherfucker, I'm pretty sure that this person had you up in your head. They got you emotional. Look, the Nine of Swords came out. So you must be in your head. You must be crying at night, can't eat, can't sleep, thinking and wondering and hoping and searching and praying and driving and trying to find and... I'm seeing a karmic feminine. I'm not calling you a karmic. My bad, sweetheart. But I'm seeing a feminine. I said I got a habit of saying that. But I'm seeing a queen of wands female that really should be an empress. I'm seeing somebody drive around the community and look for their man. I'm going to keep it a buck in a thousand. This man then got on a plane somewhere with the six of swords. They didn't got on a bus or train. They're not even in the same proximity. They're not even in the same area. And this motherfucker going to come back. I'm going to tell you, this motherfucker probably been gone for weeks, months. This I, I, I'm telling you, there is an emperor in the reverse. Really, I want to, if I had some scissors, I'd tear this up, which I'm not going to really do that. I got some scissors. But I'm just saying, that's how mad, that's how, that's how mad this motherfucker is making me. This emperor in the reverse, he ain't no, he ain't none of that. He ain't no emperor. He ain't no king of wands. He a devil. He a fucking narc. Because I'm telling you, somebody is going to come back home. I'm telling you, this motherfucking king of wands, devil ass energy, king of swords in the reverse is a fucking narc. That king of swords, king of wands in the reverse, let me know this motherfucker is a narcissist, heavy narcissism energy with the ten of cups in the reverse here. This is somebody that has left their, their family, left their children, possibly for a hoe or a young girl. If this person left somebody for a young girl, this young girl either know about you or she don't know about you. If she do know about you, she just a young hoe that don't give a fuck. That want to be taken care of. And I'm going to get back to that in a second. Or this is a older. Or this is a young girl or older woman. That really just don't know about you. They probably think they didn't found a good man. Really this motherfucker living a double life. But I'm going to tell you something. I don't know who you. Who are you? Walk away. Walk away. Back to the story about my mama. I ain't going to put my mama personal business out there. I mean, it really don't matter. That happened when I was a kid. It was the 90s. It was probably 97, 98. When then my mama, my mama married and all that now. But, um, 
Yeah, I never forget that. My mama took everything out that motherfucking apartment. She she waited till that motherfucker left. She was gone. She was motherfucking gone. That motherfucking apartment was empty. Shit. He never saw my mama again. Now, I remember seeing that goddamn man. I ain't gonna say his name. I remember seeing him again. By that time, my mama had moved on and got with somebody else for years. We, I would see that man all the goddamn time when I was growing up. But that man would be like, uh... That man would be like, uh... I'm getting another download. I'll clarify that in a minute. That man would be like, uh... uh I started trying to get back with my mama and shit. So, now... I don't think this message resonates for my mother, but <laughs> hell shit, it could be. I don't know, but I don't think so. But I'm also picking up on, a, I'm picking up on older people. So you guys, so whoever I'm picking up on, you could be like a baby boomer or some shit like that. Or you could be in, you could be in your forties or fifties. So you could have been born in the seventies or the sixties. I'm seeing somebody is a really good homemaker. Somebody cooks and cleans. Somebody is a good homemaker. Somebody definitely is an older woman here. But I feel like you an older queen of wands. Okay, I feel like somebody got to be. I don't, I'm not seeing like, you may be in your late 30s, but I'm not seeing that. Somebody in their 40s or they 50s here. Whoever your husband is, you've been, you been married to this motherfucker for about 10, 20 years or possibly more. Yeah, we have give your relationship a chance with my romance oracles or oracles. Okay, we have heart to heart conversations. Okay, we have separation here. One second, I dropped the card. Yeah, we have separation here. I'm hearing separate. What we gotta do? Separate. Talk about me and you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, y'all. But nah, what I'm seeing is, I'm telling you, this motherfucker gonna come back home. Them, them, them motherfucker is coming back. Okay. Never going back, never going back. You can't make me never going back. That's how that's the vibe that you need to be on. Cause this I feel like somebody family is in on there. Everybody, this this nigga is a narc. Narcs do that. They love having side pieces. I don't care if they a female narc or a male narc. They will they love to cheat. They'll 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 dog you out, treat you any kind of way, knock you up, they'll do all type of shit. They'll get pregnant by you. They'll lie and say they're pregnant. They are female or masculine. They fucking narcs. This motherfucker is planning on coming back. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you is, but you need to get up out the bed. You need to quit being depressed. You need to quit crying over this nigga. I don't care if you got to go. I don't, somebody, somebody, I'm hearing somebody say, well, I don't got no money to leave. I, I don't got no money to leave. How I'm going to move? Where I'm going to go? This man takes care of me. This is a hoe ass nigga. And I'm going to get on this motherfucking nigga ass. Look, I don't like you. I really don't like you. I don't fucking like you, my nigga. I really don't fucking like you, my nigga. I really don't fucking like you. <laughs> so I'm going to get in your ass. I'm going to get on your nigga ass for you. Because you ain't doing it. Don't you ever depend on no man. Okay? Don't ever do that. You know what I'm saying? Don't ever, 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 ever do that. And you know, and I hate to say that because it's the society that we live in, especially as a black woman, it's hard to depend on somebody. You know, your grandmamas and your grandmama, then they tell black women, don't you depend on no man. Take care of yourself. And me personally, I never depended on a man. Even, you know, I had situations. You know, I'm, I'm KMP. I love y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all like y'all know me. Not selling my t personal business, but when I was younger, when I was in a Queen of Wands energy, I was put into situations. Damn, now that I think about it, I always have taken care of myself. I ain't going to sit here and lie, though. I have messed with some fuck niggas that weren't handling their responsibilities, but for the most part, I've always taken care of myself because I ain't had no choice. You feel what I'm saying? But, you know... A lot of these dudes out here, they try to... This is a narc that you're dealing with. I'm going to tell you that now. A lot of these dudes out here are manipulative. This, you're married to a warlock, by the way. I want to let you know that. You're in a committed relationship with a warlock. A lot of these motherfuckers, a lot of these men, they like codependent women. They like women that they can manipulate. They'll sweep you off your feet. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And a lot of these dudes... You know what I'm saying? It's This is so sad with the energy that I'm picking up on. A lot of these men, they don't like independent women. Not all men. I'm not talking about alpha males. I'm talking about beta males, weak males, insecure males. 
they don't like independent women. Like they'll say shit like, uh, I be seeing these relationship blogs and shit, but they'll say shit like, uh, the only reason why you an independent woman is because don't no man want to take care of you or provide for you. Okay. Well, damn, if you do, damn, if you don't, cause y'all prey on vulnerable women, you prey on naive women, you prey on weak women. You pray on women that never had a father figure, ho ass nigga. I'm finna get on these niggas' ass because I feel like this could be happening to more than one woman that I'm picking up on. You pray on women and you try to break them the fuck down because you're a fucking narc. You want to control their every move. Let's talk about it. How you pray on these goddamn women. You don't want them to have their own. You pray on, especially you old ass men. You pray on young girls. You pray on young girls and you break them the fuck down. If ain't nobody going to advocate for these females out here, I'm going to do it. KMP going to do it. Because let me tell you something. Every trial and tribulation that I ever been through in my life, I thank God for it. I'm going to tell you why. And I've been a gangster all my life. I'm going to tell y'all that right now. KMP been a gangster all my life. I ain't no queen of wines no more. <laughs> I don't give a damn. Any nigga I ever been with, they'll tell you. They say KMP, a.k.a. Tempest. She's sweet as hell, but she crazy than the motherfucker. Them motherfuckers run when they, they, they wouldn't fuck with me. They said, that be crazy than the motherfucker. I always been like that, even when I was dealing with a fucked up nigga. Ain't no shame in my game. I'm not finna get on this camera and act like I'm perfect, like I ain't never been in a fucked up relationship. And then saying, you know what I'm talking about? But you got to stay away from these narcissists. Real men, a real man ain't going to break another, another a woman down. They not going to break a single woman down because these narcissists out here, they be out here trying to break you. You, you. That's why you ain't got a man. Uh, uh, that's why you single. Don't nobody. Uh, uh, you too aggressive. Uh, you too masculine. And, and this, that, and the third. And that, and the third. You, damn if you do, damn if you don't. Let me tell y'all a secret. And I don't care if you a man or I don't care if you a woman that's watching this. Find you somebody that's just for you. And if you a female, a man that finds a wife finds a good thing. Say it with me. A man that finds a wife finds a good thing. Meaning that you don't need to go looking for your husband. Let him find you. Keep your legs closed. Keep your legs closed, head up, and eyes open. What pot say? <laughs> Motherfucker, a lot so bad on you. They lie on their D-I-C-K. They'll tell a bunch of lies. They'll do any motherfucking thing to have a bunch of hoes. You ain't no real man. Who the fuck these masculine is that I'm picking up on? You're not a real man. You're a bitch, bitch. You're, you're bitch made. You're not a player. You're not none of that. Because if you was a real alpha male, if you was a real player, all your hoes would know about all, all your hoes would know about each other. You would be able to maintain all your hoes. You would be able to maintain your wife, your side chick, all of that shit, all of that shit. You'd be able to do it, but you can't because you're a fucking coward. And you intentionally prey on young girls. Or if you don't prey on young girls, you prey on women that are vulnerable and weak, that don't know any better. And then you try to break them down. And then you have the audacity to talk about them like a dog. Again, ladies. And I'm not bashing men because there's some good guys out here. But again, ladies. <laughs> I learned through trial and error. And, era. and sometimes you got to learn through trial and error. Fuck them. <laughs> You feel what I'm saying? It's it's just, it's as simple as that. But whoever I'm picking up on, baby, you need to walk the fuck away. You need to wait till this motherfucker go out of town. I don't care if you got to go to a shelter. Because this is somebody that you're, you're depending on. Listen to KMP. I didn't, I didn't been through a lot of motherfucking things, man. I don't know. I feel like I'm talking to a, a couple of you females personally. Why is you depend fucking? Let me tell you, I ain't no shame in my game. I'm not embarrassed of nothing that I went through. I used to, I lived in many shelters. Slept in many shelters. I ain't never been no, I ain't never been no drug addict in my life. I've never done drugs a day in my life. I ain't never did no alcohol, heavy alcohol. I ain't never been no alcoholic. I ain't never sold my body. I ain't never did none of that. People in my family. Okay. People that I've been in relationships with, so many people tried to put obstacles in my path. I'm trying to help somebody today. So many people tried to put obstacles in my path, but I ain't never sell my ass. I ain't never do no drugs because I was going through the struggle. Even when I lived in my South Node, motherfuckers talked about me like a dog, said I never amount to anything, said I never be shit. 
But I ain't, I ain't never sold my ass, though. I ain't never been no dope. When I struggle and I ain't had nobody to turn to, I ain't turned to no motherfucking nigga. I went to a motherfucking shelter. It got up on my motherfucking feet. And that's why some odd years later today, I, I'm still standing. So somebody that's, that, that's going to resonate with this is codependent. But I don't feel like you're codependent. I feel like you can be, you ain't never, I don't know. Maybe you didn't have a father in your life. Fuck him too. Maybe, maybe you didn't have nobody to protect you because see all these men out here, these nothing ass, low down ass, sorry ass niggas out here, they want to talk about a woman. But what the fuck are y'all doing out here to protect your daughters? You ain't got a shotgun in sight, my nigga. You out here horning and tricking around. But, but, but when somebody, but when somebody do your daughter like that, you got a nerve to talk about them. Or you got the nerve to talk about women. But ain't now one of you niggas out here protecting nobody, especially the black woman. The black woman is the most disrespected, the most unprotected woman on this earth. And I thank God every fucking day because every, I, again, I always been a gangster now. Them motherfuckers used to try to pull one on me. Now, don't get me wrong. Them motherfuckers that I've been with, they, they pulled a lot of fast ones on me. I admit, I admit, but I'm crazy. Than my, I, I used to be crazy. I'm telling you, any nigga that ever talked to KMP, they said, hell no, nah, that bitch is crazy than the motherfucker, but I'm a good person. I'm a good woman. So y'all don't know how to do. Don't be like KMP when she was in herself, no. Them motherfuckers get the running. That bitch is crazy. Than my, hell no. Nah. And see, let me tell y'all something else that y'all women be out here doing. This is this message is for the ladies today. Y'all be listening to these men. Y'all be pillow talking with these men going against other women when you need to be sticking together because niggas going to stay sticking together. They going to stay sticking to the guy code. See, that's why I don't got no female friends because I don't got time for mess because y'all like to click up and gossip and do that shit. But y'all don't never want to motherfucking stick together, motherfucking together. See, I've been psychic all my life. I thank God. My, I tell you, any motherfucker used to try something on me, I'm psychic. I can pick up on what the fuck you doing. Even if I don't even, even if I don't have a pinpoint finger on what the fuck you doing, my, 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 into, you know, female intuition is a motherfucker, but it's really a motherfucker when you psychic. You feel me? I don't know why God got me on here preaching today. But y'all don't talk to one another. And I'm talking, I'm especially talking to black women. We don't talk to one another. We the only motherfucking races of women. You see white women going to brunch and lunch and Hispanic women hanging out. They all help each other. Ain't nobody helping each other but getting a, a leg up is the motherfucking sororities and shit that, that are black women. And they barely even doing that because all them motherfucking sorority sisters is fucking each other husbands and boyfriends. But see, y'all be shitting on these divine feminines, though. These empresses, these earth angels, these starseed females. Y'all be jealous of them, though. But see, them be the main ones that's, gonna, that's, that's trying to help your ass. Then y'all be somewhere looking stupid, sitting up pillow talking with these niggas and shit. I'm talking to these Jezebels. Sitting up listening to a nigga lies and shit. Now you somewhere looking stupid, dumb. And I'm picking up on so many goddamn storylines. Shit, I didn't, I'm telling y'all, when it get gangsta, in my zero voice, I'm telling <laughs> I'm telling you, y'all, y'all don't understand. I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping it keep a G. KMP, crazy as hell. And when I say I'm crazy, because I know I say that a lot, because a lot of my motherfuckers been calling me crazy all my life. I have a dollar for, I'd probably be a fucking millionaire by now. For how many times people call me crazy but it's not that i'm crazy i'm real and see when you real and you speak that real shit and you're not afraid to speak your mind and you're not afraid to tell a motherfucker what it is they can't take that they run from you i didn't been ghosted and all type of shit motherfucker can't handle me bitch ass nigga whole ass nigga even even when i've been done dirty even when i was getting done bad in the motherfucker bitch ass nigga i told mother motherfucker who the fuck you nigga nigga what bitch bitch ass nigga do, do something ho I don't know who the hell I'm picking up on. I don't give a damn what color you is. Take your motherfucking kids. Fuck him and fuck his money. You ain't got to be codependent. Take you and your motherfucking kids and you take your ass to a shelter, especially if you got kids because they going to help you. They ain't finna let you be out on the streets with two kids or three kids or five kids or seven kids or whatever the fuck I have in motherfucking kids you got. Fuck that nigga. When he come back from out of town, I'll be gone. Shit, if you ain't got no money, I ain't finna help you. I ain't finna help you that much. You better figure that shit out on your own. Because I feel like this could be some Jezebels that's watching my channel. 
Shit, y'all know how to do everything else. Y'all know how to gossip and watch and stock and do everything else, but y'all can't never figure out how to help y'all self. God is trying to elevate some of you feminists, especially you Jezebels. God is trying to elevate you, some of you goddamn feminists, to empresses, but you codependent. And I'm also talking to you Jezebels that got your own money and you think you're better than women that's low income or better than women that don't have nothing, better than women that depend on their man or their husband to take care of them. Bitch, you ain't better than nobody. You just buy dick, bitch. How about that? You like how that sound? Because you motherfucking narcissistic ass Jezebel hoes that got professional jobs and shit, you professional hood rats. You love these motherfucking king of wands in the reverse. You love them motherfucking emperors in the reverse. You like, you don't, bitch, who are you, bitch? My mama told me a long time ago. I never forget that. I was in motherfucking elementary and I used to like this boy in elementary and I bought him some cubic zirconia earrings. My mama was combing my hair in the mirror. I, she said, wait the fuck, hold the fuck up, baby. My mama them, they used to call me KK. My mama said, hold the fuck up. Who you bought, where you bought them earrings for? I said, oh, I like this boy at school. She said, oh, no, man, we don't buy dick around here. <laughs> and I knew from that time on that I ever buy nigga shit. You know, unfortunately, I wish I would have got taught more. But unfortunately, I didn't. I had to learn through trial and error. And, error, and that's what the fuck you need to do. I'm sick and tired of this shit. I don't even know why I'm tapping into this shit. I don't even know why I'm picking up on this bullshit. I really don't. Ace of Pentacles, High Priest is here. Yeah, you worried about it. That's his motherfucking money. Fuck his money. Somebody is very codependent here that I'm picking up on. Girl, take them motherfucking kids and go. Shit. I be saying I'm being, I'm, if, especially if you married. Shit, I'm being financially abused. Like my husband. I'm being psychologically abused, financially abused. You better go to a battered women's shelter. Shit, the next time that motherfucker see me, shit, and I, I go to a motherfucking better women's shelter in a whole nother motherfucking state. The next time that motherfucking see me, I'll be riding good with the chariot. I'll be smelling good, looking good. That motherfucker wouldn't even know who the fuck I am. Shit, this motherfucker working in cahoots with they family. Man, you are married to a narcissist or you're common law married to a narcissist. Did everybody in this per everybody in this person's family know this motherfucker got hoes. And they know you codependent and they talking about you like a dog. And they also working with a practitioner or a tail reader and it ain't KMP. So don't get in my motherfucking comment section saying if I, I ain't working with nobody. I don't know none of these people. I'm going to tell y'all right now. I live a luxurious life. And when I mean I live a luxurious life, that don't mean I'm rich. Meaning I take spiritual baths and I drink smoothies and I last night I had me a seafood bowl and you know and I take bubble baths and I'm at peace. Fuck a nigga. You feel what I'm saying? When you been there and you done that, it ain't even about that. You feel what I'm saying? It ain't that hard to get a man. It ain't that hard to get none of that. You know what I'm saying? If I want one, I get approached all the time, 24-7, but you feel me? But the kind of shit I want, you feel what I'm saying? That God, God creates that. And I want to say a side note for all you whole ass people that watch my channel to try to do spell work over my love like that shit ain't working. See, you motherfuckers be thinking y'all delaying people, but you're not delaying shit, bitch. God is allowing you to do what you do so you can keep digging a hole for yourself. See, sometimes God, see some of y'all, and I'm talking to men and women on this channel. Some of y'all need to be single, man. Some of y'all go through relationship, through relationship, through relationship. To be honest with y'all, I've really been single all my goddamn life, but I haven't. I'm using me as example. I'm using bits and pieces. I'm not telling my full life story because I know it's motherfuckers that watch me to try to get inside information on me. But anything I say on this camera, it ain't my personal life story. It's just bits and pieces of my life to help somebody else. Because see, God put me on this platform to help somebody. And that's the problem, especially with black women. See, black men, they talk to one another. When they at the barbershop, they talking to one another. When they hooping and playing basketball and football, they talking to one another. Not black women, though. Oh, y'all messy. You clicked up with your sorority sisters. You clicked up with your homegirls at the, at the job. You don't like empresses and divine feminine. You always clicked up and messy and gossiping. Now look at your bitch ass. Now look at your codependent ass. Depending on this nigga to take care of you because he, he didn't lie. This motherfucker living a double life. Now look at your ass. You just buying dick. This motherfucker, didn't, then this motherfucker is a candy man. This motherfucker didn't dick you down so goddamn good. You just stay spending money. You attached to the motherfucking devil. 
with the devil card in the reverse and the justice, but some of y'all ain't going nowhere. I don't know why God using me to help somebody, but I, I've been like this all my life. This is my personality. I've been like this all my life. I'm sweet. I'm loving, but leave me the fuck alone because I'm crazy as hell. And listen, I didn't have a man tell me, yeah, yeah I never given nobody because you're crazy. No. See, y'all afraid. Y'all afraid to do what I'm not. I tell a nigga real quick, nigga, you got me fucked up, nigga. What now? What bitch ass nigga? Now what, huh? But see, I don't, I don't do that no more. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. You feel you? I'm a guy. I am a gangster. I don't mean no harm. I ain't grow up in nobody hood. I ain't grow up in nobody ghetto, but I'm a gangster, man. I don't I don't play that shit. You playing on my mind, you playing on my top. You fuck you. Okay. That's why I stay to myself. And y'all need to get like me. Y'all sitting up in the bed crying and sad. Shit. I used to be there, but I didn't been there before when I was young. I didn't been there before in my past, but I didn't just sit around and cry all day and be sad. I got I did. I, y'all, Lord God, thank you so much. I used to do some gangster shit. Lord God, thank you so much for <laughs> delivering KMP from my, my motherfucking self. No, because Lord, you know, I used to be ignorant, Lord. Ever since I gave my life to the Lord. Lord, I used to be ignorant. I used to be ignorant, y'all. Make sure y'all hit the like button. I ain't ignorant no more. I am not ignorant no more. See, I always been a loner. I ride by myself. I ride. I ain't never had no female friends. I ain't never brought, dealt with a bunch of hoes. None of that. Any gangster shit I ever did, I did it by myself. That's how I ain't never get caught. See, y'all talk too much. See, you didn't put whoever I'm picking up on. You didn't put your friends and your family and your bit in your business. You talking to this motherfucking friends and family. You doing? You don't know how to. You ain't see. I ain't gonna get on here and help you, Jezebel ass hoe. See the old K and P, the old K and P. It might affect because I know I got some trolls that's watching me. I ain't never did nothing illegal, and I I don't have a criminal history because I know I got motherfucking trolls that watch me that be looking into my background and shit and trying to find shit on me, bitch. I'm not a criminal. And I ain't no ghetto bird. I grew up in the suburbs. Had two parents. All the fuck I'm saying, what the point that I'm getting into is, is but y'all be letting motherfuckers play you. And I'm not sitting here and saying that I ain't never been played. But at the same time, y'all don't know how to talk to a motherfucker. Nigga, what? You know how many niggas I didn't ran off talking crazy to them? And I'm not no disrespectful woman. I don't disrespect men. If you be good to me, I'll be good to you. If you respect me, I'll respect you. If you take care of me, I'll take care of you. But don't play with me. I got my granddaddy in me. I got so many. All of my ancestors, all of my male ancestors surround me. My granddaddy, my spiritual husband on the other side. I got rappers that watch over me. I've been a gangster all my life and a loner all my life. And don't fuck with me. And I guarantee you who my kingdom spouse is, he a gangster just like me. And he real just like me. And ain't none of these fuck niggas. And I'm talking to all the ladies out here. You need to get by your motherfucking self. Whoever the fuck you are that's codependent on this nothing ass, bum ass, gay ass in the closet ass nigga. Whatever the fuck this sorry ass nigga is, walk the fuck away and get your own shit. Don't trust a nigga, fuck a nigga, get your own shit and let him know that you fucking with a raw chick with your head on your shoulder, know how it goes when it's time to let a motherfucker get gone. Don't trust no shit. I love Kaya. I don't be listening to all these little sorry ass new rappers and shit. I like some of their music. I ain't gonna lie. You feel what I'm saying? But girl, shit, whoever the fuck y'all is that's going through this shit, shit, you better go get you some wine or if you smoke weed, I don't smoke weed. You better go get you something. You better put on some motherfucking Kaya. I mean, play Kaya front to back. Don't be sitting around listening to no motherfucking Keisha Cole. Keisha Cole ass gonna have your ass crying all day. You put on, you put on, put on some gangster music. Go put on some old Webby and, and, and fucking Boosie. Motherfucking Trill, your Trill Entertainment. Uh, go put on some, yeah, go put on some gangster music. Shit, that's what the fuck I used to do. Lord, have mercy. Thank you, God. I just want to say thank you, Lord, because, Lord, I just, help me, Lord. But that's why I KMP single, because I'm not finna put up with that fuck shit. A nigga try to, that's what they be doing to y'all. They be using, they be using reverse psychology. They'll try to make you feel like if you, if you a codependent female, they'll try to do spell work on you with the magician card. Okay, somebody is definitely married to a warlock. 
Okay, but if you're a codependent female, they'll do spell work over your mind and over your children. They'll do spell, even they, they own goddamn children. They'll do spell work on you to try to make you feel like you'll never, you'll never have anything without them. You'll never be able to make it without them. And if you got your own money, they try to make you feel like that you can't get a man because you too independent of this, that, and the third. Fuck these men. Fuck them. Shit, fuck them. Shit, I sleep peaceful every motherfucking night. See, you know what my y'all know what my dream is? Let me tell y'all what KMP dream is. My dream is to travel the world. You know how like it, cause I'm Nefertiti reincarnated. And you know, like motherfucking in ancient Kimmy, you know, motherfucking, I had all these bodyguards and shit that used to surround me, just beautiful black chocolate men. I just want men to cater to me. I ain't gonna sleep with them. That's my dream. My dream is to go to Kimmy and live every happily ever after and sit on the island and have men feed me grapes and strawberries and shit and serve me. And, and I ain't even gonna say nothing to them. I'm just gonna wave my hand at them like, here, bring me some more wine. Bring me some more strawberries. I'm the queen. You better remember who the fuck you are. I'm a black woman, bitch. And I'm not calling y'all no bitches. I'm talking to the Jezebels and the Empresses. I'm a motherfucking Empress. I earned my stripes through all my trials and tribulations. I got the right to put my head on my shoulder. I got the right to keep my head up. I'm a black woman, mother of the earth, mother of the motherfucking universe. And I'm also Navajo Indian and a whole bunch of other shit, Caucasian. I am European. My great grandmother was 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 full blood of European. My 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 father's mother is half breed, okay. And my father's mother is still living, eighty some years old, beautiful woman. Her mother would die when she was six, and she was Caucasian. And my grandfather was Navajo Indian, okay. So that's why I'm not a fucking racist. So I'm speaking on behalf of all women. Pick your motherfucking head up. Keep your goddamn head up. Shit, I'm mother of the earth, mother of the universe. You better get, you better get in vagina power. Go watch Alexis Tyler. Shit, motherfucker. Shit, I don't give a damn. That's that's just me. I'm trying to help somebody. If you don't like this message, then don't listen to it. That's just who I am. This is my personality. Call me crazy. Call, I don't give a fuck. Call me this, call me that. But I always been like this, even when I ain't know no better. Because I used to be young and dumb and stupid too. I ain't going to lie to you. See, y'all, y'all ladies out here, y'all hate to be wrong. You hate to be played. You hate to be, fuck it. Shit, but, but, back, but back then, boy, shit. Even when I was stupid, I still, shit, I still get on your motherfucking ass. I always been like this, and I'm going to be like this to the day I die, because I'm a motherfucking warrior. And I'm not going to tap into this shit no more. I don't even want to hear it. I'm going to tell you the truth. This motherfucker could be a pastor or a preacher. This is, part, this is somebody that plays holier than thou. This is somebody that could be a dope fiend. This is somebody that's a fucking narc with the king of swords here. This is somebody that's a, abusive, controlling. They working with their narcissistic ass family. They're not an emperor. They're an emperor in the reverse. They travel for work. They can drive trucks on the side. They can sell dope on the side. Sell a little dick on the side. They might sleep with men and women. Whatever the fuck they do, fuck this nigga. Take you and your motherfucking rug rats, your babies. Take your goddamn kids. Go to a shelter and I'll go to a shelter in another town or another state. I tell the better women shut the eyes. Say I'm scared of that motherfucker. And if he come near me, I'ma send him to my goddamn jail. Lead this bitch ass nigga so you can receive justice. So God can elevate you to an empress. So you can manifest abundance in your life. And quit attacking these divine feminists. I'm so sick of you karmic ass Jezebel ass hoes attacking divine feminists. You might learn something. Get gangster like KMP. Now shit, I ain't telling you to do nothing crazy. Don't go to jail. Don't do nothing stupid. Cause I don't, I don't do shit like that. And I got a clean record. Matter of fact, how about that? For you for you trolls, for you troll ass bitches. Cause I didn't deal with some troll ass bitches that tried to get me wrapped up and messed up and, and draped up and dripped out and all type of fucking bullshit. But that ain't gonna never work because I'm protected by the most high God. But when I say get gangsta, I mean fight for your right to party, to celebrate. Fight for your right to be able to live your life. Put your big girl panties on. Shit. Somebody a frown know who I'm picking up on. Spirit won't let me go. Somebody afraid to leave this nigga because he's taking care of you. Somebody is codependent here. Man, you better take, you better go to a goddamn shelter. Somebody is laughing at you and talking about you. Somebody is a fucking abuser here. Let a motherfucker put their hands on me. Shit. I ain't, ain't no shame in my game. I ain't got nothing to hide. I mean, I don't talk about my personal life, but God is using me and what I've been through to help somebody else. I was in an abusive relationship for years, but I used to fight back. 
That motherfucker used to abuse me mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually, but I used to knock the shit out that nigga back. Shit. We was like Ike and Tina in the limousine. <laughs> I made it through that, though. I made it through that shit, and I ain't never going back to that shit. But it was through child and fucking era. Man, please, man, I'll be gone. I'll be motherfucking gone. That motherfucker will never see me again. Yeah, now he won't even know who the fuck I am. Motherfucker, I look like next time that motherfucker see me, I'll be long gone somewhere. Shit. Somebody afraid to leave the house. Somebody can't leave that. Somebody is being tortured. Somebody is being abused. Somebody is a fucking dope fiend in a psycho. Somebody is married to a fucking dope fiend. Or somebody that snort cocaine all day. Maybe you was the person that I was picking up on that's married to Ike Turner wannabe. Ike Turner had me fucked up. Ike Turner wouldn't wake up the... Let me get off of here. Like, <laughs> like, subscribe, and share. I love y'all. I don't know who this is for, but God had me on here preaching. I love y'all. Thank y'all and goodbye. Y'all hit the like button. Peace.